Hey yo everybody, today we're going to be unboxing a, oh, let me see if this doesn't reveal any, shouldn't reveal too much, but we're unboxing a factory second Framework laptop DIY edition here, and we'll just be quickly going through just kind of the unboxing experience since this is a fairly new thing that Framework just launched. Um, I'm a big fan of Framework. If, you, if you're not already aware of what Framework is, they're basically a... Uh, all consumer friendly right to repair company and wow, look at that packaging look at this pack wow wow so much so much recyclable material here but um to sum it up here let me just get everything unboxed got the laptop we got the tool the one tool you need to take it apart and repair the laptop um is there anything underneath this no okay this is like glued down i don't know what's going on there but be something later but i doubt it yeah framework is a company that basically supports power users and that anything that you think or would like to do to your laptop they'll support it and they have like everything on their website to allow you to do so such as like swapping out your modules so you could have all your usb or providing all documentation to repair your board if you need to there's like um i think it was it's called project ara but it used to be phone blocks and there was like a modular phone concept but man okay Sorry, just getting back to the laptop here. This is a factory second laptop, but it doesn't seem like there's anything. Like... Now, they, they mentioned something about the screen being kind of bad. I'd like a certain angle. But, like, everything else is, everything else is fine. So, let me grab all the parts I had for this. Uh, <laughs> I didn't explain the framework part too well. So, I am actually already in for a framework 16. So, you'll be seeing that soon when I'm... Uh, when I received that, I'm currently in batch one, but it got delayed, so we'll be waiting uh, to see when that gets shipped out. So I just have a DDR4 kit frame here because this is just a 11th gen, 11th gen board. I also have this package here, which should have some modules I ordered. And I didn't go too wild with modules because you can use the framework, some of the framework 16 modules in these, these slots here. So. Wi-Fi card. Now, I bought this separately because there's some pretty good Black Friday deals at the time this video is being published, but or you know when it's around it's being released. But the Wi-Fi chip was only like ten bucks, and all these modules I believe are like around ten bucks as well. So super, super not expensive. Uh, got an HDMI, USB-A. Whoops, got two USB-A, micro SD and USB-C for charging. So I'd say at least the combination of these three are are good. I kind of was thinking about getting another USB-C, but for my Fenric 16, I'll have another one coming in. I'll have more modules coming in, so. Okay, let's get this thing. Um, well, I wonder what happens if I turn this on. I assume nothing, right? I didn't, I also didn't buy their charger um, because there's some pretty good deals. Okay, it looks like it's in, um, what do call it? Like uh, the safe battery mode where you have to plug it in. You know, yeah, we'll, we'll get all the stuff installed first, and then we'll work on turning it on. And all these screws are captive, so that's super nice. Okay, so it's just five screws, it looks like, and then you're supposed to open this up and then lift on the keyboard. And the lips here. It just comes, it's all held in by magnets. And down here, you'll see this cable. It's very easy to remove. Look at that, you could even repair your keyboard if you wanted. Like it's got screws in for all the parts, for all the keys. And the touchpad too, look at that, wow, okay, anyways. I'm gonna get this thing in first, which would be the Wi-Fi module because I have not installed it before. I'm not reading the instructions, even though I should. I should probably be careful with the battery. It looks like it's already plugged in too, so. Okay, so. Looks like. There's a retention clip here or something. Let's see. Some 
plastic sleeves here. Let's get those out of the way. Okay, let's just slot this guy in. Actually, let's get this. Let's see, how does this go? Goes on top? Or just go like this? No, it doesn't go that way. It goes like this. Right? Shoot, actually, which way does this go? Probably this way, right? I would assume probably replacement gun. So there's a lighting, there's like a guiding hole right there, and then you just tighten this back in. Actually, before I do that, just as a sand. Oh no! Oh no! Um, I wanted to do a sanding check, but now I'm thinking I just put this in, I just full send it. Okay, I just wanted to make sure that was in. Okay, that was pretty finicky. Let's move on to memory. Which we have 32 gigs of. Alright. And then, as for storage, we got 2 terabytes of Samsung 970 Evo Plus. That should be everything, so let's just get this back together. All right, we got it together. Let's see if it powers on. This was silly power thing. We got a light, orange charging light. LED there. There we go, finally. Okay. Well, that pretty much sums up uh, my setup experience here. I'm going to get Windows installed and more projects or side things. Uh, my, my original plan why I bought the outlet in the first place is because I can just take the main board out of this and then just reuse it. Side PC or NAS or server or something. And I can just keep reusing this, right? So thanks for, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe.